Welcome to Math TV with Professor V. Here's an integral of the day for you all to enjoy. We have an indefinite integral of x plus 1 over 9x squared plus 6x plus 5. So right off the bat, you're probably like, oop, it's a rational function. Let me try partial fraction decomposition. And then you'll observe the denominator does not factor. Oh no. So what do we do in such a scenario? You complete the square in the denominator, break up the integral, and usually you're going to have to do some sort of trig sub, and then the other integral might require a u sub or nothing at all. We'll see. But that's, that's generally what happens when you can't factor the denominator. So let's complete the square. Um, already looking at it, I'm not going to factor the 9 out because I'm just looking 9x squared plus 6x plus 1. That's a perfect square trinomial. If you don't recognize that, then you probably just need to strengthen your factoring skills. It's the quantity a plus b squared, right? It's 3x plus 1 squared. But notice, yeah, I have a plus 5. So I need just a 1 to make a perfect square trinomial. That means I'm breaking up the 5 into 1 plus 4. And then this is how I want to rewrite my denominator as the quantity 3x plus 1 squared plus 4. So why am I happy with that? Observe. So this is x plus 1 over 3x plus 1 squared plus 4 is 2 squared dx. And then I'm going to split each of the terms in the numerator over the denominator and work with two different integrals, okay? So integral number 1, whoop, integral number 1 is going to be x over 3x plus 1 squared plus 2 squared dx. And then integral number 2 is just 1 over 3x plus 1 squared plus 2 squared dx. All right. Integral number 2 is the easier one. Integral number 1, we have to do a trig sub. So look here. Since in the denominator we have addition, that means I'm going to use tangent. And normally we let x equal a tan theta. But instead of just x, we have the quantity 3x plus 1 happening. So we're going to let 3x plus 1 equal a, which is 2, tan theta. And then now let's take the derivative of both sides. So on the left, we'll have 3 dx equals 2 secant squared theta d theta. And then I want to get dx by itself. So it's equal to 2 thirds secant squared theta d theta. Okay, that's all accounted for. Now what about this lonely little x in the numerator? What do I replace it with? You're going to come back right here. Solve for x. Okay, so that means 3x equals 2 tan theta minus 1. So x equals 1 third times 2 tan theta minus 1. So that's going to go in the numerator. So we have, give your people a narrative, tell a story. <laughs> we have this integral. And the numerator is this, 1 third times 2 tan theta minus 1 over, now instead of that 3x plus 1, this guy right here, 3x plus 1 squared, that's 2 tan theta squared. Okay, so I'll put it all in parentheses, plus 2 squared, and then don't forget dx, where is dx? It's right here. It's 2 thirds secant squared theta. 2 thirds secant squared theta, d theta. Ooh, okay, let's clean it up. <laughs> so, um, right away, right away, I want to take this 1 third and 2 thirds out of the integral. Okay, so then we're going to have 2 ninths. All right, yes. 2 tan theta minus 1. And then I still have secant squared theta d theta over, this is 4 tan squared theta plus 4 in the bottom. And then remember, there's no radical here, so that's fine. You just still take out a 4. This is tan squared theta plus 1. 
which I can replace with secant squared theta. So that's in the denominator, which is fabulous because look, here's a secant squared theta in the numerator. That's canceling with the secant squared theta in the denominator. And then I just have this four, which I can take outside. Okay, so let's take care of all that. So I have two ninths. This four is in the denominator, right? It's down here. So if I take it outside, it's a one fourth. And then remember, this secant squared theta is now canceled out. So all that's left is two tan theta minus one d theta. Yeah? Good, 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 good. So two ninths times one fourth this will cancel, that's just a two. I have 1 18th. Antiderivative of two tan theta, that's two. Natural log, absolute value, secant theta. Minus, antiderivative of one is just theta. Plus, I'm gonna say C1, because I have another integral coming up in a second. And then to get back to the original variable x, I need to draw a triangle. So. How do we draw a triangle? Go back to right here where we let 3x plus 1 equal 2 tan theta. That means 3x plus 1 divided by 2 is tan theta. So draw yourself a little triangle. Tangent of theta is the ratio of the opposite over adjacent side. The hypotenuse you can find by doing the Pythagorean theorem. And I know it's going to give me back that expression that I saw in the original integral. So rad 9x squared plus 6x plus 5 once I clean everything up. Okay, so this is 1 18th times 2 ln absolute value. Now secant theta right here, that's going to be the ratio of the hypotenuse over the adjacent side. So that would be radical. 9x squared plus 6x plus 5 over 2 minus, and then what about this plain old theta? What do I replace that with? Well, look here. Since tangent of theta was 3x plus 1 over 2, we're going to replace theta with tan inverse of 3x plus 1 over 2. Now, like technically, you could choose any uh trig inverse function because we have this full triangle, but the standard way to do it is to use the inverse trig function for the one that you originally chose when we're when doing the substitution. Okay, so this is the result from the first integral. Save this on the back burner. Then we had the second part. Do you remember what it was? It's right here. This one's easy peasy. Even the first one wasn't so bad. Okay, so I'm just gonna have you remember, recall integral one over, ooh, ooh, straighten up, x squared plus a squared dx. One over a, tan inverse, x over a, plus c. You don't need to trig sub this. This is one just memorize. You could trig sub it, but I mean why? Why? Some of my students, so they get carried away. They're in the zone and they forget and they trig some. Anyways, do you see how it matches? Yes? Two is A. It's a little more spicy, yes, because three X plus one we have instead of just plain old X, but we can match the format. Now, depending on where you are, you might need to do like a U sub because you're like, oh, what do I do with this three X plus one? But if if you're a little slick, you'll know all that means is you're going to have an extra one-third in your antiderivative. So watch this. I'm going to have a one-third because of the three in front of the x. Had I u subbed, I would have just picked up a one-third. One over a, so that's one-half. Tan inverse, instead of just x, we have three x plus one over a is two. And I'm going to say plus c2. So this is one-sixth. Tan inverse, three x plus one over two plus c2. And that's it for integral number two. I told you it was going to be nice, right? So let's put everything all together, okay? So now we have, or all together, all together. 
we had, where was it? 1 18th. I'm going to distribute the 1 18th while I put everything all together. Are you okay with that? Oh, good. So it's going to be 1 9th ln absolute value square root 9x squared plus 6x plus 5 over 2. Minus, also I'm distributing the 1 18th to I had a tan inverse of 3x plus 1 over 2 plus, here's my integral number 2, get over here, 1 6th tan inverse 3x plus 1 over 2 and then plus c1 plus c2 and I'll show you how to clean those up nicely in a minute. Okay, standard little cleaning technique we do when you have natural log and notice there's just a constant in the denominator. We're going to use our log properties to split it up and simplify. So watch, we've got 1 ninth, and then I'm going to write this as ln 9x squared plus 6x plus 5 to the 1 half power minus ln of 2. Yes. And then notice here, whew, we just the fun keeps going. These are like terms. They're both tan inverse of the same quantity. So we have to add the coefficients together. Negative 1 18th plus 1 6th. So that's negative 1 18th plus 1 6th is 3 18ths. So that's 2 18ths or 1 9th. So I have plus 1 9th tan inverse 3x plus 1 over 2 plus c1 plus c2 and we're not done cleaning up so if you'll see here I can move this one half exponent do you know where yes to the front it's one of our log properties and I don't have to put absolute value um, around 9x squared plus 6x plus 5 because it can never be negative or zero if you check remember we talked about how it's not factorable yeah so then I have 1 9th, remember the 1 9th out here, and then the 1 half is joining it in the front. So this is 1 18th ln 9x squared plus 6x plus 5. And then here, this negative ln of 2 times 1 9th, it's just a constant, right? So I'm going to absorb it with the other constants in just a moment. I'm not going to write it as part of my final answer separately. And next, I'm just going to have plus the 1 ninth tan inverse of 3x plus 1 over 2. And then now I'm going to say plus C and tell the people who is C. Well, C is C1 plus C2 minus 1 ninth ln of 2, right? Because we absorbed this into C1, C2 and just said, this is my new constant, C. So clean, so classy. Here is the most simplified answer that you would find when you're checking like the back of the book or an answer key or whatnot. That's how it's gonna be written. And I do keep track of the constants and I have my students write out. It's good practice, especially if you have to take differential equations later because you do need to track and define you know, who those constants are, what values they can take on and whatnot. So I think it's just good habits if you're used to always explicitly stating like this C comes from C1 plus C2 minus a constant. And then later on in your future math classes, you won't be so shocked when we're being very precise as well. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this integral. There was this other one I saw that I want to do had so many e to the x's and at first glance I don't honestly know how to start it so I'm going to play around with it and then I'll record it and share it with you guys all very soon. I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah I haven't recorded in a while because you know grading, grading but it's okay. I love my job. I love my students and they did well on their last exam so that makes me happy happy. Take care. Give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. What are you guys up to today? I'm just teaching all day. I'm going to go to yoga first and then go to work. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Math TV with Professor V. I'll be back soon, guys. Take care.